Welcome to Lewis and Clark Special Collections. Uh, we're here today to talk about the launch of our Catherine Dunn exhibit. Um, I'm Hannah Cremay, Head of Special Collections. I'm Sydney Awada. I'm a sophomore here at Lewis and Clark. And I'm Mike Marabla. I teach in English and the core program. So today we're launching The Horror of Normalcy, Catherine Dunn, Geek Love, and Cult Literature, uh, which is an exhibition here at Lewis and Clark. Uh, the launch is today at 5, uh, but people are welcome anytime between now and August to see the exhibit. Uh, Catherine Dunn was a prominent Portland author uh, whose exhibit, whose archive rather, has ended up at Lewis and Clark College. Uh, this exhibit represents just a small part of that archive, which includes her papers, her drafts of her literature, as well as her correspondence, her research into the many articles she wrote for Willamette Week, uh, as well as a lot of other exciting artifacts, uh, which Sydney and Mike can maybe lead us through just now. So the exhibit's themed around cult literature. Um, Mike, Mike has done a lot to guide that. Um, Mike, you want to? Yeah, so uh, one of the reasons we focused it on the idea of cult literature um, was because the book had such a kind of enthusiastic response from its readers. Uh, it was a National Book Award finalist in 1989, the year it was published, um, and it received excellent reviews. And But beyond that, it had seemed to have like a very intense following among readers. And a number of the items in the exhibit are kind of different manifestations of that enthusiasm, I guess. There's fan art. So in our first cases, we have examples of correspondence between Catherine Dunn and members of her milieu, as well as an early draft of an article she wrote for the Smithsonian about Portland called My Kind of Town Portland. Um, this really centers the book in Portland um, and stresses the importance of location within Geek Love. Uh, these are letters between Catherine Dunn and an editor at Nom of Gordon Lish. Um, it really lets Catherine Dunn's colloquial voice shine through rather than always reading her prose and thinking of her only as a narrative author. She was also a person, which is interesting. Uh, here in this case, we have examples of the composition of Geek Love. Um, it's interesting that Catherine Dunn outlined her plot almost as a genetic family tree. And then here in our last case, we have examples of the fan response to Geek Love. 